Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to Do Daily Tuesday training. Des here. Fitting in another episode of Do Daily after a really busy day where I managed to build on yesterday's activity. Of course, I've got I got in that city slicker session from Do Running. Really, really enjoyed that. After the tough one yesterday, those 10Ks, running, rowing and walking, it was a case today of a nice easy one and a spin round Nottingham with a, a few friends, smaller group than normal, that doesn't matter, it's all about just getting out there and doing it, enjoying it, enjoying what we can and making the most of yet more group activity on a Tuesday and more activity just like I say building on what I did yesterday it's almost been it's almost felt like a little bit of a recovery session <laughs> really really felt those 10k's yesterday as much as I've done for a good while so as somebody who's always encouraging it I will also advise of caution and not doing too much normally particularly over the last few months I've been easing into what I've been doing uh, as the weeks built up but yesterday it was straight at it really trying to attack it trying to reinvent that never miss a monday mantra that i spoke about i've spoken about a lot on do daily but probably not so much recently like i say for other reasons i had to ease in just sort of so, to make sure i didn't get injured but now i feel i'm at a point where i can push on that little bit more so i'll be talking about that a little bit more too just on today it's been another wall-to-wall hectic -wall day got up this morning a little bit of coaching before setting off to work so having done that I had jobs to do got a nice event at the end of the week a Grand National theme race night looking to um, raise some funds towards my London Marathon effort of course what all the training's for so it's all one it's all one picture it's all going to the bigger picture all these efforts and whilst I've got to live a real life I've got to do this training do this fundraising so really sort of really enjoyed that side of it as well got all that set up ready for that so feeling prepared whilst it is busy it's like I can tick things off and you know how that feels I like to make a list these days and sort of tick them off one by one it tends to help helps me prioritize I've also spoken in recent weeks how if we are busy we can sometimes put those jobs we don't want to do to the bottom so trying to find a bit of resilience in that too too just like the training trying to find some resilience in the fact that Try and get those jobs done first and again once they're done you feel like you can do anything so it's been a case of that this week um today especially also coming on a little bit late again apologies for that seems to be the case just now but all that busyness is causing it but there was for good reasons after the winning group i actually appeared on bbc radio nottingham um to discuss do running and the impact that has locally and the reasons I set it up the reasons I do do daily and um, also touching on the mental health side of things and why that's all important to me so that's really really that was a really nice thing to do I've been lucky enough in, in, in time to sort of speak to the radio about various projects that I do through Do Run In. Do Run In is a community interest for those that don't know. But never really a chance to explain exactly what Do Run In is. And today was a great opportunity to do that. Get the message out there that we're trying to be a little bit unique in, in what we do. And I'm trying to be a little bit unique. Whilst this is my personal vlog and it isn't directly Do Run In. Of course, it all comes under, it, it's all under the, the bigger picture. Do you know, it's all in the bigger picture. Um, because it's me working to my purpose, you know, doing the things I want to do, making the most of them, being positive and enthusiastic, and finding ways just to keep ticking over. It's about trying to be happy, of course, but when things aren't perfect, 
it's also about trying not to be too sad trying not to be too down i use my activity tuesday training whatever day it is whatever the motivation is on that particular day whatever gets me going i use to to keep me on top of things because i understand the importance of that as i said on the radio i will post that at some point the interview just gonna do a bit of editing with that and put it together but what what i have said is um sometimes it's not easy but as long as we work into our purpose do what we do it's absolutely essential isn't it always say that it's quite raw it's just me saying what's on my mind at any given time like now just getting out there after the run getting in a short walk probably helps the legs a little bit if anything but it's about getting in a short walk and doing whatever i can to say a few words hopefully to help just one person and not hopefully to help just one person hopefully to help somebody and even if it is just one person it's made a difference i know when people take time to talk to me when people open up i like to consider myself these days as a little bit of a listener somebody who, who takes things on board and somebody who's there for someone so when I'm doing it, I just hope somewhere that somebody can take something from it, enjoy what's being said, enjoy somebody being honest, raw, hopefully humble, hopefully that's the way it comes across, but if it's not, I can assure you I've got absolutely genuine intentions and I just want to get the most from what I'm doing, I want to figure it all out, so to speak, figure out why I do what I do, explain it, you know, when I get it wrong, pick the bones out of it a little bit that's what talking outwardly does because i do watch it back i do watch it myself so as i've always said definitely helps that one person because it definitely helps me i get the chance to sort of mull over what i've said of course i'll i'll also see where i get it right and wrong and it gives me a chance not just to see where i've said it right and wrong because i've not been able to explain myself particularly well but it gives me a chance to sort of take that, learn, listen a bit more, take on board, on board more advice, you know, and just keep working really, really hard. I do live a quite busy life and I enjoy the things I do for entertainment, which are quite often, you know, whether it's the activity or whether it's going to football or watching some sort of sport. I throw myself into the things I enjoy. There's absolutely no reason we shouldn't. You know, don't let anybody put you off. I'm not letting anybody put me off here. And the radio interview was possibly just a little bit of recognition for what doing is done. It's been going a while now. It's been going a few years and Do Daily itself has been going just a little bit less. But it shows if you're consistent and you keep working at what you do. You know, people at some point will stand up and take notice. It's not about that, but it's when people stand up and take notice that it helps as well. We can spread the word, encourage people to use it, you know, use the channel, use Do Running as a group, use some of the messages on social media. You know, people question me all of the time about why and why would I do this and why would I say that and he must be doing it for his own reasons. It's easy, that's easy, isn't it? Because it's not easy to sit there and put yourself out there sometimes and open yourself up to criticism. But as long as you feel you're setting an example, you're doing the best you can, you know, and that's all it's about, living your best life. Again, not in a showy off way, just living the best life you possibly can and that's what i'm doing i'm enjoying everything that's happening around me some things are possibly by luck but a lot of it's by hard work tuesdays on probably the most mundane day of them all you know for me it's just about getting it getting that short one around nottingham and really really taking something from it i've done that this week it's helped me recover from yesterday it's helped get the legs working again but every week it reminds me that we just have to keep just doing it.